Almost a full week since the disaster, this photo, a leaking undersea pipe, is the one and only image released publicly from the scene of the oil spill. An image released by Husky Energy, the operator turned polluter that's also investigating itself. A situation that makes no sense to this St. John's biologist. If you had a serious car accident, you wouldn't be investigating it yourself. Some independent group like the police would be investigating. Jones says there are millions of seabirds in the spill area at this time of year, including MERS, Dove Keys, and the iconic Atlantic puffins. He suspects the death toll is much higher than the one deceased bird being reported by Husky. Up to 100,000 or maybe more of these vulnerable seabirds might die. The spill is much smaller than the 473 million liters of oil spewed into the Gulf of Mexico at the Deepwater Horizon rig in 2010 or the nearly 40 million liters that spilled in Alaska from the Exxon Valdez in 1989. Still, the estimated 250,000 liters is considered the largest spill on Canada's east coast, and researchers say it only takes a little oil to cause a lot of damage. A blob about the size of this nickel here, getting onto the breast of one of these birds is going to immediately stick to the feathers and compromise their ability to insulate. If it gets onto the bird, it's going to die. The federal government has also been quiet about the spill, which happened as Husky attempted to restart production in waves almost as high as a three-story building. Only now is Natural Resources Canada saying it will review the incident within its frameworks to ensure the highest environmental safety standards and resource management. The regulator is the Offshore Petroleum Board. It says it's conducting its own independent investigation, but some say it's impossible for the board to be impartial. The regulator is in charge of basically promoting the industry with mistrust surrounding the investigations and few details about the full extent of the problem, this environmental disaster is fast becoming a political mess that will be difficult to clean. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.